parents, daycare providers, foster parents, and many more. Listen to sign language expert Joseph Garcia as he explained how hearing babies can actually learn to communicate through sign language. If someone said this baby could tell you when he has a headache, you might not believe them. But research completed 13 years ago by Joseph Garcia is now proving many wrong. I believe the reason why a lot of parents haven't really embraced the concept of using signs with infants is because they see signs as a symbol of a disability rather than one of an ability. But now that is changing as the number of parents using sign language with their hearing babies is growing rapidly. I, I've been learning, um, actually since she was pretty young, been trying to expand our repertoire of signs. We've been speaking German and Spanish and English different days of the week with him, and the sign connects the languages. Garcia teaches that a few simple gestures can make a big difference in empowering children and meeting their needs. And that may be the difference between a gregarious, outgoing child and one who's a little more reserved. Because with that skill of communication, they can respond to situations, they can initiate conversations about shared experiences by using the gesture that s symbolizes that, that experience. For parents of hearing children who use sign language, they say it has changed the way they interact with their children. He's not really speaking yet in a language that I can understand, but he's definitely signing in a way that a lot of us can understand him. You know, she wouldn't be able to tell me that she wants milk and that she wants blueberries and that she wants more if I, didn't, if I hadn't learned, learned sign with her. Joseph Garcia says no parent should force their child to learn sign language. Rather, they should allow the child to discover signs through observation. Then, not only will they be able to better communicate with their children, but parents will soon come to find that signing reduces their child's frustrations, strengthens a baby's self-esteem, and results in greater vocabulary later in life. Megan Baldino, News Center 11.